you wanted it, you got it. A camera comparison between the iPhone 7 Plus and the new OnePlus 5. Hey, this is Sundar from C40 Tech. Let's get started. Outdoors under good lighting conditions, the image is shot with the 12 megapixel primary rear camera of the iPhone 7 Plus and the 16 megapixel primary unit on the OnePlus 5 are excellent. They're very sharp with a lot of detail. Those shot with the OnePlus 5 are a tad more saturated. They look good. The one shot with the iPhone 7 Plus exhibits slightly better dynamic range. Note that these images were shot with Auto HDR enabled. Moving on, when we turn HDR on, both phones do bring out details from both the shadows and the highlights quite well. In fact, the OnePlus 5 does it better in many situations, but in some, it gets a little aggressive, making things oversaturated. Look at the greens and the reds. The 7 Plus, on the other hand, keeps everything natural. The 20 megapixel secondary rear camera of the OnePlus 5 and the 12 megapixel secondary unit on the 7 Plus are capable of doing similar things. 1. 2x lossless zoom where the OnePlus 5 captures much brighter images, thanks to the larger f2.6 aperture in comparison to the iPhone's f2.8. And 2. Portrait mode, that simulates a DSLR-like background blur. The OnePlus 5 captures skin tones better, but the more important thing here is the execution and it's close to perfect on both phones. Indoors, for the most part, both phones perform similarly. They're sharp, well exposed, and the color reproduction is great. Under low light, the OnePlus 5 shoots pictures that are brighter than the ones shot with the 7 Plus. That's thanks in large to, well, the large f1.7 aperture of the primary lens. Moving on to selfies, the 7 megapixel front facing camera of the 7 Plus is clearly superior to the 16 megapixel unit on the OnePlus 5. Better skin tones, better color reproduction, better dynamic range. The only plus for the OnePlus 5 is that its selfies have a wider field of view. Moving on, both phones are capable of shooting 4K videos at 30 frames per second. Note that the OnePlus 5 doesn't have optical image stabilization meaning the footage is quite jittery in comparison to the one shot with the 7 Plus that does have OIS. The clip shot with the 7 Plus is of superior quality too, well exposed, sharp, with a lot of detail and good dynamic range. When it comes to slow motion video though, the OnePlus 5 is the better of the two. The footage is much sharper. So that's it for this video. While the OnePlus 5 may not be better when it comes to video, it's a worthy opponent to the iPhone 7 Plus when it comes to still images. The performance is equally good when it comes to pictures shot outdoors and indoors, and the low light performance is slightly better. It also managed to pull off the zoom and portrait capability with the secondary rear camera. And guess what? It costs almost half as much as the 7 Plus does. At that price, I'm really, really impressed with the camera. Are you? Let me know in the comments below. Also let us know if there's any other comparison you'd wanna see. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to C4E Tech for more. Also do this to make sure you get notified each time a video goes live on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Sundar from C4E Tech, leaving for the moment. Have a great day.